25 years ago, Jack Nicholas won his final green jacket. It's been 50 years since Gary Player won his first. And now at the 75th Masters, who will join them in history? It's Sunday here at Augusta National. Look at the mystical course as the fog lifted this morning. We all wondered what storylines it would unveil. Welcome everyone. Global Television is live from Augusta, coast to coast. I'm Kevin Smith. Glad you could join us on this special day in golf, the Sunday at the first major championship of the year. 14 years after Tiger Woods said, hello world, winning the Masters as a 21-year-old, another 21-year-old. Rory McIlroy has led wire to wire, but will his high wire act be affected by the gravity of the moment? Here's a look at where we stand right now. With less than an hour to go until final round coverage begins, Rory McIlroy tied for the lead Thursday, two-shot lead after Friday, four-shot lead to start today. He's trending in a great direction. Angel Cabrera paired with McIlroy. Angel won here two years ago. KJ Choi, Charles Schwartzel, and Jason Day also four shots back. Hey, thank you, Bill. I think some of the guys in the middle of the pack will have to shoot 31 or 29 in the back nine to get back in contention. Well, there's probably no three-hole stretch of golf more famous than holes 11, 12, and 13 here at Augusta National. And they're always a factor in crowning a champion. Here's an in-depth look at Amen Corner. At the start of this year's Masters, all the talk was on Tiger Woods, the four-time champion, number one in the world again, his off-course controversy behind him. All the talk at the start of round number three on Saturday was Tiger Woods again, this time because of an on-course controversy where his disqualification was a real possibility. Sunday at the Masters started like a horse race with 13 golfers within four shots of the lead. But a few holes into the final pairing, it became more like a boxing match. 20-year-old Jordan Spieth and 2012 champion Bubba Watson exchanging blows on the front nine until the veteran wore down the kid down the stretch. Nice thrill to have Steve Sands in now from the Golf Channel. And, and Steve, before we get to golf, I saw you at a sports bar this <laughs> week. There were 30 plasma screens with every sport you can imagine. You were trying to find the one that had hockey on it. The Why caps, is that? Man. I'm from Washington, D.C. The okay. Caps are number one in the East. I'm sorry for all the Flames fans. <laughs> and I'm sorry for anybody in Canada who thinks Vancouver is going to win the Stanley Cup. <sighs> but that baby's coming to the nation's capital here in the U.S. this year. All right. <laughs> Talking some hockey. And, uh, I hope. Just get us by the first no, round, Kevin. That's all. Please. Hey, you know, we only have two teams in Canada who made the playoffs. And that's Vancouver and Montreal. Just get us by the first round. That's all we want. We've got you sitting right here beside me. You know these players uh, better than anyone that I can think of. Uh, Rory McIlroy. Here's a guy, uh, you know, who might do what Tiger did in 97, win as a 21-year-old. Tell me about this kid. Seems like a great kid. Seems like he's got the head space to do this. Give me some insight on him. Welcome back to Live from Augusta, the Masters pre-show here on Global. We're less than half an hour away from third round coverage of the Masters. Now, every year at this time, golf fans from all over the world make the pilgrimage here to Augusta, Georgia. But whether they take in a practice round or stay for the weekend, those who come just for the golf they're missing out. Rob Leff shows us the rest of what Augusta has to offer. Maybe this special place can get his game back on track. Here with 2003 uh, Green Jacket winner Mike Weir. And Mike, uh, you've played some good golf the last month. Uh, admittedly, you haven't scored the way you've wanted, but mm -hmm. being back today here at Augusta National, can it bring back some of those good vibes from a decade ago? Well, I hope so. Um, you know, I feel like that, that it will. Um. Fan support still high for the Calgary Flames. Everyone knows the Flames have to win at least one game in this building in Anaheim if they're going to win this series. If they happen to do it in game number two, you can imagine the fan support in game three, an electric crowd on election night, Tuesday, back in Calgary. In Anaheim with the Flames, I'm Kevin Smith. Jonas Hiller. Jonas Hiller played seven years, just a few blocks from here. He wanted to stay here longer. I can see why. But the Ducks last year decided they didn't want him. The Flames picked him up. He's going to face his former team tonight. Pretty good storylines. Inside the ropes, golfers can be quiet, methodical, very serious. Outside the ropes, this group of well-known ball strikers are having a blast, rapping for charity, and a lot of people are taking notice. They're known as the Golf Boys, and their new YouTube hit 2.0 is approaching an incredible 4 million views in just over a month. That's right, Masters champion Bubba Watson, along with Hunter Mahan, Ben Crane, and Ricky Fowler 
are having some fun and raising a lot of money for charity in the process. We came together and let's have some fun, let's goof around and show our personalities. Let's grow our brand but also grow the game of golf. Also raise a few charity dollars. Um, so yeah, it shows the fun side and so there's probably kids out there that definitely, who doesn't want to be like Ricky Fowler and so uh, Ben, Ben's a little older, so he doesn't really count. He's just in there to try to get some publicity. And then Hunter, you know, Hunter is, he's a real quiet guy, but, you know, he shows the fun side of him. And so for me, you know, I'm boring as well, so shows the fun side of myself. The insane Ben Crane, the only member of the Golf Boys not here in Augusta this week, known as one of the slowest players on tour, he even poked fun at himself, referencing a 2005 incident where Rory Sabatini, one of the fastest players, left him behind in frustration on worldwide television. I like in my Rory the golf boys make fun of themselves and just about every other player on tour as well. I got a drippy faucet on my Stewie Stewie sink. Golf boys, man. The vid is raising a lot of money to build clean water projects. On Thursday, the golf boys hit the course trying to stay out of the water as they start the first major of the year. At Augusta National, at the 77th Masters, for Global News, I'm Kevin Smith.